We go now to Joe, who's in the kitchen with RJ making some crepes. That's right. I thought, he, I thought your son said Mrs. Chick chicken Finger, but I, I'm totally... Yeah. All right, well, we're not making chicken fingers. We're making crepes today, RJ. That's correct. All right, we've got our French batter ready. We're going to start putting these on the grill right now, right? That's right. Okay, what do we got? Well, first of all, I have uh, clarified butter. Basically, it's a hotel-drawn butter is a term. We take okay. all the whey and, and fats out of it. Most of the fats, there's still some in there. It's a lightweight butter. We're yeah, but it's, it's got a high threshold for heat. So mm -hmm. I'm going to put about an ounce on the griddle there. Okay. And I'm going to make sure I get my batter here, the French mm -hmm. batter that we made. That's right. Wow. It's very light. And very light. Here. And I'm going to drop a ladle right here in the middle. Yeah, this looks so difficult the way when you find, when you get the finished product that uh, it's, this consistency can be rolled into something. Yes. After it, yes. Uh, cooks for a few minutes. And um, we're going to let that go for about maybe a minute to two minutes on, uh, uh, pardon me, about a minute on this side and then a minute on the other side. Okay. And did you want to go ahead and try one? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Now it's okay if it just spills out like that. Yeah, right? that's we're a little fine. uneven here, but that's okay. okay. And you want to try to maybe s start your butter up here. Up here? Yeah, right right and then it's because it's going to roll down away. Perfect. Right. Very okay. nice. See that? That's a perfect circle. Very people. nice. All yep. right. Put the, and then uh, you'll go butter. ahead and give your batter a little stir. Okay. And then you'll want to ladle that batter into that butter. Just like a ladle full? Yep. Right into the butter. Yep. All right. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Uh, very nice. I try. Very okay. nice. So, um, this whole recipe, I mean, making a crepe takes a couple minutes, right? Exactly, yes. That's what we want. You want to get a good quality product that you can make quickly and have it ready, available for the customer. Right now, like on a, on a given Sunday, uh, maybe even this Sunday, how many crepes are you uh, Oh, my making? land. It's going to be a lot. We're, yeah. We are very well prepared for that. We're going to go through... Uh, uh, maybe a thousand <laughs> eggs for the day, you at could, least. Right? Yeah, yeah it could exactly. Be that big. It is the busiest day of the year. We do get uh, uh, our highest volume on that day. Okay, now we're going to be topping these off with some really interesting cherry uh, exactly. kiafa, right? That's what right we Right here it? we okay. have our cherry kiafa topping. Mm -hmm. It is the uh, sour tart cherries I described before. Mm -hmm. It has the, uh, the, the sauce in there with a the, uh, little bit of sugar, cornstarch mm -hmm. for thickening. Okay. I'm going to go and flip this now before okay. it gets a little too dark. I'm you want to go ahead and do yours? Sure. Want to get that spatula all the way underneath there, and you're going to go for a nice flip. Yeah, that's not working over here. It's really not happening. All right. Get there. You can do it. All righty. That's <laughs> awful. Yeah. Well, now you have two crepes. <laughs> How do you like that? You're getting more out of mine. So, look at that. I'm just going to cut. Well, I'm not going to cut it. That looks kind of like a heart, doesn't it? Very good. All right, enough of that. All right, let's put the... Uh, now, the, the filling is just, uh, like you said, it's a pretty simple filling, but you have to reduce it. Exactly, right? yeah. Okay. You want to... You, you boil it down, and mm. uh, it, dr it brings out the, uh, the, the the tartness in the cherry and the sweetness mm. in the sugar as well. Great, great. And so, you have other fillings, too, at the, at yeah, the restaurant. Yeah, we right? have uh, fresh strawberries. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to drop this right yeah. in here. Oh, look at that. Raspberry. We may also make a raspberry crepe. Mm, that sounds good. So a big fresh, variety over at the restaurant. Exactly. Mandarin oranges, um, mm. fresh mushrooms, seafood, chicken. Mm. Wow, really? Yeah, we do dinner crepes as well. They come with potato pancakes. Any kind of a chocolate crepe? What yeah, uh, we yeah. haven't done one yet. We okay. do chocolate chip pancakes. So. You can name that after me then. No, I've heard okay. about the pancakes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now once I'm we get gonna go ahead in there. Yeah. And I'm going to start to roll that. Okay. And I want to go ahead and keep it nice and tight. shows body in the crepe. Mm -hmm. This is a full-bodied crepe we're making. Yeah. So good. then I'm going to grab a plate. Okay. I, I notice how you're like, this is basically a lost cause. Well, I can't. You, you don't want to put anything with that, in no. here. I'll just eat that myself later. So we're going to put at that. that. Beautiful. On our crepe. And then I want to dust with a little powdered sugar. Mm -hmm. That's always good. Guys, you got to smell this. It smells great in the kitchen right now. And then I'm going to uh, go ahead and... More cherries on more top, More cherries right? on top. Okay. And this whole recipe takes, uh, you know, roughly two minutes. So I guess the key is to not let it cook too long. you got to be a little... Yeah, uh, exactly. Yeah, that, right? you want to you flip it quickly because if it does go too long, the crepe is difficult to roll. It cracks. And it's just not... doesn't taste as good. No. No, right. it has a burnt flavor. RJ <laughs> Joel, thanks for uh, joining us here today, making some great crepes. Uh, we're going to be showing you what to do with the leftovers coming up. Back to you guys.